of Jeff Bailey. What what the heck is going on here? First of all, I think it's pretty obvious you're looking at the wild side heavyweight champion. No, it's not obvious. You just possess the belt, John Phoenix. Now, my first act was to give Adam Jacobs a rematch like the champion I really am. Rematch, please. But Adam Jacobs didn't have the guts to show up tonight. So, Speedy, let's hear a 10 count. I'm ready to get out of here. Adam Jacobs is, is not here tonight? What's going on here? No Adam Jacobs? No, no Jeff Bailey? I know it's an old wrestling announcer cliche, but conspicuous by their absence is rather apropos here. Speedy Nelson is making a count, a count out to Adam Jacobs, but we're hearing the intro. Well, you ask me, let it be. John Phoenix is not getting Wildside Champion Adam Jacobs. His absence is totally unexplained. Don't know what the hell's going on, but here's David Young, former Wildside Heavyweight Champion himself. By vestiges of who is the proper owner of which belt here this evening, obviously this is no longer a championship match since there's no official champion wrestling in this match. Well, Adam Jacobs is the official champion of record. That's right. But if he did no show tonight in the past, Champions that have no show to have forfeited titles in contracted title matches. It happened to Rick Michaels in the ticket time Bob Scotty ran in October. Does that mean John Phoenix is the champion? We got a lot of questions to be answered here, fans. I can't imagine a, a Phoenix be the champion. I mean, all he did really was steal the belt. And if, frankly, if this is a forfeit, then obviously there's also has to be the obligatory 10 count. And that 10 count never took place. The 10 count didn't ever take place. That's David correct. Young is here. And if. Jacobs did indeed forfeit the title due to his non-appearance tonight. And where is he? A lot of questions there. And also... Very fishy. And as I mentioned earlier, also conspicuous by his absence, Jeff G. Bailey. Wait a minute. You think... No, you know, no, 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 I, no, no, no. Jacobs. Well, I don't know. It's, I certainly don't put it beyond uh, uh, he was, Bailey. He was very fired up as wild side heavyweight champion. Why would he just no-show this big rematch, especially when his title belt's been stolen from him? It's not the Adam Jacobs way. There's more to the story that needs to be told, and we got to find out what that is. But right now, the key is in the ring. It's David Young and John Phoenix. And Phoenix, I was going to say he was fully expected Adam Jacobs, but he came to the ring knowing that Adam Jacobs, the Wildside Heavyweight Champion, was not here. Why was Phoenix privy to this information, and we weren't? Yet another clue pointing in the direction that the NWA elite had a damn thing to do with his disappearance. They had something to do with it. I know it. And you know wrestlers can't keep secrets, so obviously we would have figured that one out in no time flat. Crowd getting on the case of John Phoenix, who's proved to be one of the most unlikable men to ever walk down the aisle here at NWA Wildside. What a counter there by David Young. Reverse sit outside slam. David Young comes off the ropes. John Phoenix sends David Young crashing and burning through the second rope. And here comes John Phoenix. Here comes John Phoenix to fake Con Hilo. It hit the mark, and David Young collapses in agony on the floor here at the NCW Arena. This actually match puts both of these uh, guys in a bit of a disadvantage since neither one expected to be wrestling the other and your main event this initiative of NWA Wildside. Oh, hell no. John Phoenix off the top. Guillotine leg drop. A slap in the face to Jacobs, perhaps. The finishing maneuver. Well, that's great, but where is the face of Jacobs? And where's the rest of them? David Here's Young is out here, and according to John Phoenix, uh, this is a wild side heavyweight title match. So wait a second. So John Phoenix is defending the wild side heavyweight championship, which he doesn't own, but he has the belt, which he has been in possession of, and he's defending it 
to David Young, even though David Young realized that Phoenix is not the champ. Oh, I mean, I'm, my, my brain hurts. This is more confusing than a bad episode of Nitro. Wait a second, weren't they all about bad episodes? Just okay, about. Thunder. Terrific. However, we're going to take a quick break. We'll be back with more of this perhaps championship matchup, perhaps not, right after this. Hang with us, guys. Let's Lake fans, we're back. David Young and John Phoenix is the wild side heavyweight title on the line. We don't know. That's a good way of putting it. We just don't know. Because this bizarre series of circumstances surrounding the disappearance of all that Adam Jacobs with Phoenix holding the championship. They say possession is nine-tenths of the law. Well, if that's the case, then Phoenix is the champion. Shining wizard in Gary to the back of the head. Possession nine-tenths of the law, and pro wrestling would listen to the law. I was whipped by David Young. Phoenix goes high up into the air and crashes down face first. John Phoenix, nip up over the corner, boot in the midsection. Front chancery. John Phoenix springboards off the second row, but David Young catches him. Phoenix goes crashing hard from an overhead belly to belly suplex upside down into the turnbuckle. And John Phoenix just landed on that pompous, arrogant head of his. And from the original stipulations of this match with John Phoenix versus Adam Jacobs, or Jacobs, Wildside Heavyweight Champion, the Wildside Championship Committee had deemed the fact that there has to be two referees of on record for this match. And both Andrew Thomas and Speedy Nelson here officiating. Andrew Thomas in the ring, Speedy Nelson on the floor. Well, it, that was decreed by the NWA and the Wildside Championship Committee. John Phoenix rolled up, two count only. And if these officials are out here as decreed by the Championship Committee, this would have to make me believe that it is the title match, Steven. Well, that's um, definitely good fuel to the fire. But these neither officials are given very specific direction and order. I say Moon sold off the apron by Phoenix, but David Young caught him and thwarted that plan. He's over the shoulder. David Young goes face first into the guardrail. Young has dished out a lot of major. Oh, good heavens. Oh, jeez, good God. Good God almighty. A spine buster on the ramp. Spine buster on the ramp. And Phoenix hit head first there as well as the spine. I don't, I don't think Phoenix is in a condition to walk much less even continue on with this matchup. My God, the brutality we just witnessed in that lone spine buster. And referee Andrew Thomas is counting both men out of the ring so far, up to a five count. Phoenix is not moving. Young is just now getting to his feet. Perhaps the most devastating spine buster in the history of David Young dishing those things out. And for my money, David Young's got the most devastating spine buster in the history of the sport. Yeah. One well, on the rep. What happens? I don't believe that. Phoenix gets his shoulder up. The only way he was able to pull that one off is the amount of time it took between that spine buster and the amount of time the, spin, the pin took place. And, and I don't believe a lot, but I damn sure don't believe that. John Phoenix. I may hate this man's guts, but, but I've got a newfound respect for John Phoenix just for kicking out of that. Spinning axe kick to the back of the head by Phoenix. Phoenix is obviously gutting it out. Pin attempt from Phoenix. And a shoulder up in time. Even though he's a member of the NWA Elite, John Phoenix coming into this matchup with a pair of balls to be able to kick out of that. That's correct, Phoenix has both the guts and the nuts. And that is Spine Buster, and I think this time it matters. Speedy Nelson made the three count, Andrew Thomas hesitated on, hesitated on that second one. Nelson awards the title to Young. Well, ladies and gentlemen, they want to have the match. The new Wild Side Heavyweight Champion for the second time, David Young. God damn it. Well, look who just pulled on up. Jeff Bailey, Iceberg, and Rain Man. And it appears that David Young 
is the new Watson Heavyweight Champion. Well, according to referee's decision, Speedy Nelson just clocked Thomas on the outside. And Speedy Nelson is kicking the hell out of Andrew Thomas, but the focus has got to be in the middle of the ring. And hey, Quick Michaels with a baseball bat. What's up with this? We saw Bad Attitude reunited just a few, few short episodes a wild side ago. And now David Young, officially the wild side heavyweight champion. So many questions to be answered. So many rulings to be made. I'd hate it to have to come down to rulings. It needs to come down to the guys in the ring. Those are technically along with officials of wild side. That combination needs to be the only combination that would designate a wild side heavyweight champion. It appears as if David Young is the new wild side heavyweight champion. For the previous champion, Adam Jacobs. And Bailey Sin and Rayman after his arch nemesis, Rick Michaels. And Michaels more than happy to comply, beating the hell out of Rayman. But behind Michaels, here comes Iceberg and David Young. Oh, just in a nick of time. And Iceberg. My goodness, Iceberg's a mess. And standing in the ring is Rick Michaels, and as well as apparently the new Wildside Heavyweight Champion, David Young. <laughs>